So firstly, I just want to start this video off by saying I didn't want to make this. Unfortunately, due to several uh, statements released by the ABC uh, that question their credibility and integrity, this has to be said. Now, this video is in regards to a certain photo and photographer that has been circulating on Australian news sites for the past few days. The person in question was named by the ABC. His name is Dave. Um, now, I'm not attacking Dave as a person. He's probably a great guy. He's probably a nice family man. Um, what I am attacking though is his actions and his statements that he has put out onto the internet and how he's continued to uh, operate since these events have occurred. Now the photo in question was brought to my attention on Monday. The photo was digitally manipulated, uh, it contains Photoshop artifacts that occur um, with the use of a clone stamp and clone tools and stuff like that. Now the problem isn't that it's photoshopped, it's, it's the fact that it's being presented under the pretense that it is a legitimate photo, that there was nothing done to it. There were several statements by Dave that said, this is a legitimate photo. So if from that, you know, several news sites have shared it under the pretense of being a legitimate photo, nothing's doctored, nothing's photoshopped. And naturally, as a news site, like a, a respected news site, that doesn't look good. Um, so various photographers from uh, many communities have come forward and said, hey, something isn't right here. The photo of the Four Horsemen has several Photoshop artifacts contained in it. There's two little lightning bolts that are the same. The heads of the uh, left and right horsemen are exactly the same. The two in the middle are sort of the same. It sort of looks like they're all sort of stamped from the same thing. So that isn't right, but in that same original post that Dave did put up, there was a, a third photo which had the same exact lightning bolts at the bottom, which would indicate it's the same photo, you know, no two lightning bolts are really ever the same. So when the same photo is there and the lights are all adding up over the top of one another, it's like, cool, this came from the same camera, the same lens, same everything at the same time. But in this other photo that appears, there's, the, there's like a, there's this palm tree in this photo that if you look at the top of it there, it's it's already been smudged a little bit that they've already tried to fix this photo up. So this photo has been deemed the original, but even then it's, it's not the original. There was also another, another photo contained in that post that has a lot of clone stamps through it. It's just a huge mess, you know, it's it's just stamp, 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 stamp of lightning bolts and, and purple cloud and stuff like that. And it, it's, it shows horribly, again, Nothing, this isn't about Dave, this is just the photos have been put forward and been marketed, not marketed, but presented as legitimate photos. So the community discovers these discrepancies in the photos. Dave doesn't say, yes, I edited the images. He doesn't go forward to ABC, stuff like that, and say, yeah, they're, they're edited. He doesn't say that. He doubles down. You know, he he doesn't say that it's digital art. He, 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 if, he if he had said it's digital art, if he said, yeah, I photoshopped it, that's fine. Absolutely, 100% fine. But he doubled down and instead went with, no, it's, it's, it's what it is. He starts blocking and deleting comments from his page. You know, he has every right to do that. When people are actually presenting evidence that no, this isn't, this isn't real, it doesn't look good. The cover up is worse than the crime. In the middle of all this, he also states that he is sponsored by Canon, which isn't a good look for Canon. And it's also not true, so that doesn't help. There's also another storm chasing group that um, released a statement saying, hey, the photos aren't tampered with. We were there with him when he took these photos. Uh, but as soon as we show them a GIF that say, hey, look, you know, these are the two photos that were presented. There's editing going on here. They suddenly delete their post and say, hey, look, these have been tampered with. They don't apologize by any means. They, they, they keep it there for a little while. They ended up deleting the post showing that they were standing up to it saying this isn't on. And that makes me question their integrity about who they are as photographers, you know, if they're going to do that sort of stuff. And like, I get it. If they were there with him, they're obviously a friend. So um, I get that you want to look after your friend, but at the same time, it's going to make people question your integrity and honesty when it comes to capturing storm photos. So there's that, you know. It makes a bad name for a lot of people who risk their life and their equipment to go out and get storm photos as well. Like you didn't get a lightning bolt. Who cares? Go the next time. Plan ahead. It's not the end of the world. So Wednesday morning, yesterday, uh, the ABC states they're looking into it. Huzzah. Um, cool. Makes a lot of industry professional photographers uh, relieved that, you know, a trusted news site's actually looking into it. This is, this is good news. Higgin Storm Chasing removes the image from their Facebook page. We went looking for it, couldn't find it. 
maybe Facebook's glitchy and I couldn't see it, but at the time of saying this, I couldn't find it and I can only assume that they removed it. Uh, South Brisbane Storms updated their post uh, once all this started coming to light and uh, they've now stated in it, yes, that it is edited. Come to yesterday, you know, uh, someone on Dave's Facebook page just says, hey, look, I just want to know, are the horses edited? Are they photoshopped? To which he replies that the, the horses weren't photoshopped, the lightning wasn't photoshopped, but the tree was. He said the tree was removed. So if something was removed from a photo, that means it's photoshopped. Then, you know, a series of other photos from that same night that he has said goes up, and they've all got this palm tree in it. So I can only assume that that's definitely the palm tree that was originally trying to be removed from that original image. So tip for photographers for the future, you know, if you're going to do storms, plan ahead, plan your location, plan your framing, all that sort of stuff. The statement by Dave, however, was edited itself several times, uh, two times, so there's three different statements. Um, his original comment stating that the horses and lightning were, in fact, photoshopped. It's probably a typo. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on this one. Uh, he also says that we're going to get the original tonight. He's written it as regional, but I understand what he means. Then during the night, this back of the camera shot comes out. Um, now, this is very interesting because the horizon in this photo has been fixed. There's also no tree, um, and the lightning's the same as the photo with the tree and without the tree, and it's the same as the one with the horses and with the one horse, and the lightning bolt that's meant to be in the right there is also gone. So this photo again has also been tampered with, and it's, how do we go from how do we go from this to this to this? So I'm waiting on the ABC during all of this, and they say you know they're investigating it further. So then comes today, they come back and they say they've worked with. Storyful, aka the world's social media intelligence agency. That's their words, not mine. They come forward and say they can't find any signs of Photoshop. So according to ABC slash Storyful, uh, to quote, uh, they super zoomed the image on Invid and can't see anything that looks overly unusual, i.e. evidence of Photoshopping. It's not appearing as pixelated or glitchy as a photoshopped image would likely be. So they said the, they said the formation of the riders is not identical like one could imagine a Photoshop one would be. Uh, again, how did a photo, how did this turn into this, come out like this? So back to the ABC statement. We've spoken with Mr. Pine about this photo. He told the ABC the only change made to the image was the removal of a palm tree because it was blurring. He also said, he also fixed the color because it was too dull. Too dull, that's fine. A little bit of color pop, awesome. But it's this tree, it's lined up with where these four horsemen would be. Again, you compare these two images and you can sort of see the big circle at the top where a tree would have been. And you can obviously tell that these horses are totally manipulated to be there. So he's removed a tree, cool. But this raw file he's showing in the back of his camera, there's no tree in it. That's not the original. It's so easy also to put a JPEG uh, back into a file, back into a camera. Um, I was able to totally get this photo in. Um, yeah, that's totally legit, and my camera's a Canon 5D, so... So now the question goes to the ABC, Storyful, and any other photographers out there who have seen this, have seen the image floating around on Facebook. Should the public continue to, to be duped by this image? You know, uh, they're making, you know, a lot of people are taking a religious stance on this photo. You know, they're bringing their own, oh, it's a sign of the times, and this is the end of days, blah, blah, blah. That's their prerogative. You know, many people are also dropping continuous links to Johnny Cash and the doors, be it Riders in the Storm or Ghost Riders in the Sky. What was the other one? Oh, someone put Daryl Braithwaite, the horses, but that's a different story. Some people are even wanting to purchase it. Now, if he was saying it's a digital art interpretation, that's fine. A lot of these people are under the assumption that this is a genuine, legitimate image, but at the end of the day, that's buyer beware. So does the journalistic integrity of the ABC and the investigative credibility become even more questioned over something so trivial that a bunch of online photographers were able to look into? That's where I'm sort of getting at now, you know. I don't know, I'm going to pass the question off to anyone who wants to watch this and wants to comment below. Um, where does the story go from here? That's what I want to know. Alright, peace out.